Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. A major problem in the practice of dentistry is the transmission of color information from the clinical setting to the laboratory. Although much information is known concerning accurate color duplication, dentists are faced with a major limitation due to inadequate commercial shade guide instruments. The purpose of this program is to demonstrate the advantages of a custom shade guide to record and transmit accurate color information. Commercially available shade guides cannot be used to accurately transmit color information due to a variety of limitations. The shade tabs routinely provided are made up of complex porcelains that are not readily broken down into their component elements. In addition, commercial shade tabs are generally five to six millimeters thick in contrast to the ideal porcelain veneer which would be one and a half to two millimeters thick. This array of custom and commercially available shade tabs readily illustrates the inconsistency between commercial shade tabs and their corresponding porcelain powders. Note the subtle differences in actual shade in each of these five tabs representing the same shade. The custom tabs are made from two different commercially available porcelains. The first two commercial tabs are from the same manufacturer and the third commercial tab from a different manufacturer. This illustration demonstrates custom shade tabs for the Vita series porcelain shade system, a commonly used shade system by several manufacturers. Represented is the entire spectrum of shades and modifiers available from one manufacturer. All of these custom shade tabs have been fabricated in standard molds using porcelain powders purchased from a commercial manufacturer. The composite guides represent each base shade available in this series and are made up of the three layers of porcelain, including opaque, body, and enamel. The custom composite tabs simulate in thickness each of the various layers of porcelain which might be represented in a ceramic restoration. The composite guides are most similar to the commercially available guides in their composition. The body over opaque shade tabs represent each of the body porcelain shades available in this series fired with an opaque backing. The first column represents the pure porcelain as provided by the manufacturer. The 67% column represents that same porcelain diluted by 33% with an unpigmented porcelain. This demonstrates one of the various modifications that can be made to the existing porcelains for aid in color transmission and duplication. The addition of the unpigmented porcelain, in effect, reduces the chroma of that given shade. Body and opaque concentrates are available to intensify their chroma. In addition, there are eight different opaque modifier shades available. There is one body and opaque concentrate for each of the A, B, C, and D series of base shades. The manufacturer also supplies 12 different body modifiers. Like the body porcelains, the body modifiers may be diluted with unpigmented porcelain to develop shade tabs with varying levels of chroma. The enamel porcelains supplied in this series are the same base porcelains as those which make up the body shades. However, they have very low chroma and a relatively high translucency. Modifications to the enamel porcelains supplied can be made that will increase their range of value. For example, the percentage shown on the chart is the percentage of the gray modifier added to the enamel porcelain to decrease its apparent value. Custom shade guides can be made for any of the commercially available porcelain systems to suit the individual needs of dentists and technicians. This illustration demonstrates an array of custom shade tabs made for the Bioform series of porcelains available from one manufacturer. The advantages of a custom shade tab system are best described clinically. Once an initial shade determination has been made using the commercial shade buttons, further refinements are made using the custom composite shade tabs. 
As illustrated here, the overall shade selection is based on a commercial shade tab, a custom composite shade tab, and a custom body over opaque shade tab. Once the base shade has been identified, consideration is given to selection of modifiers for the three layers of porcelain. Modifiers to the opaque layer are selected first. Illustrated here are custom tabs of various opaque modifiers and concentrates that can be used for possible characterization of the opaque layer. For example, note the dark brown color clearly evident on the mesial surfaces of both canines, which can be simulated in the porcelain restorations by opaque layer modifications. The process of transmitting to the finished restoration a faithful reproduction of the planned shade and modifications is initiated with the application of the very first layer of opaque. The purpose of the opaque layer is to totally block out the gray color of the underlying metal and is accomplished in at least two applications. The initial layer of opaque corresponds to the base shade selected for the patient. The first application of opaque is a thin wash which enhances the porcelain metal bond strength. An orange modifier was selected for modification of the opaque porcelain in this instance. The second layer of opaque is now applied, placing a uniformly thick layer on the incisal two-thirds of the restoration. The orange opaque modifier is then added at the gingival third of the casting and blended into the incisal opaque. Modifying colors must be blended carefully into the adjacent porcelain to avoid sharp lines of demarcation from one color to the next. As in the modification of the opaque porcelain, similar modifications can be made in the body porcelain. For example, the body porcelain could be diluted as illustrated in this chart or characterized using the body modifiers and concentrates. Clinically, appropriate body porcelain shades are selected by comparing the natural teeth with a range of the custom body over opaque tabs in the base series, which has been previously selected. Modifications to the body porcelain selected can also be made using either the body concentrates or modifier shades. For example, increasing the chroma of the body porcelain will mimic the natural tooth color, which occurs as a result of the thinning of the enamel as it approaches the gingival aspect. Body modifiers and or concentrates can also be used to internalize individual characteristics of the teeth, such as check lines and hypoplastic spots. When multiple adjacent restorations are placed, body porcelain shade modification can be effectively utilized to discriminate between restorations. The body porcelain buildup begins with application of the unmodified base shade selected. In this instance, body concentrate A has been selected to intensify the chroma of the base shade A2. As illustrated here, the body porcelain concentrate is added at the cervical portion of the tooth, since in nature the chroma is noticeably higher in this area. This illustration demonstrates the effect of the addition of body concentrate to the cervical aspect of the restoration. However, this modification will appear more intense after the firing process. The restoration is then returned to the working cast and final carving and creation of anatomic effects are added at this time. The third and final layer of porcelain to be applied is the enamel. The four basic enamel shades in this particular series can be altered to lower their value by the addition of simple gray pigment. The 20% column consists of shade tabs with 80% enamel porcelain and 20% gray body modifier by weight. Clinically, a variety of enamel shade tabs are evaluated to select an appropriate enamel porcelain for the restoration. Note the range in value from bright to dark of the four tabs illustrated. 
The enamel porcelain is applied over the body porcelain with the thickest portion toward the incisal and thinning out towards the gingival as would be seen in nature. Once the enamel layer has been applied, it is refined to accentuate the contours and develop any surface anatomy desired. Other special effects can be created by modifying the enamel layer with the addition of body modifier shades. As illustrated here, brown body modifier is being added to the interproximal areas to simulate interproximal staining. In addition, an orange-brown modifier is added to the incisal edge of this restoration to simulate incisal edge wear and subsequent exposure of the underlying dentin, commonly seen in the mature patient. After the modifiers have been placed, a thin layer of enamel porcelain is added to give the illusion of depth to the color showing through. Following the initial bake, refinement of the contours of the restoration are accomplished using diamond stones. Note the intensity of the incisal coloration showing through at this time. One disadvantage of internal characterization is that the final effect is not actually seen until after the firing process. It may be necessary at this time to further modify the body and incisal porcelains to create the desired effects. Another effective use of custom shade tabs is in the transmission of information concerning surface texture and glaze. This illustration demonstrates 16 shade tabs developed to describe four different surface textures, each with four different degrees of glaze. Surface texture is a critical element in creating a restoration that will naturally blend into the oral environment. Many studies have demonstrated that contour and surface texture are probably more important than the actual color in achieving a natural appearance of ceramic restorations. In the contouring of this restoration, developmental grooves are created as well as horizontal striations to create a surface texture to match what was identified for the patient. The completed restoration clearly illustrates the many advantages of internal modification of porcelain. As the restoration is rotated, note the increase in chroma at the gingival aspect. The incisal characterization to simulate incisal edge wear. And the proximal staining. Clinically, the restoration blends naturally in the oral environment. Additionally, each of the seven ceramic restorations appear as individual teeth due to the characterizations created in the porcelain veneers. This patient also demonstrates clearly the need for and effective use of accurate shade information transfer between the dentist and technician. The ceramo metal restoration present on the second premolar blends naturally with the adjacent enamel surfaces. However, note the complex coloration and characterization present in the enamel of the adjacent natural teeth. In order to achieve this result, precise recordings were made identifying the various colors present as well as defining precise locations and depth of the characterizations. Demonstrated schematically, the three-dimensional effect is achieved in the laboratory by color modifications as each layer of porcelain is applied. As illustrated, the base shade of opaque porcelain is characterized with two different opaque modifiers. Similarly, the body porcelain is modified by diluting the base shade and characterizing further with body modifiers. Finally, the enamel layer is applied over the incisal two-thirds with appropriate modifications, such as the check line illustrated. 
In order to transmit this information to the technician, it is necessary that the dentist use a custom shade tab system and prepare a detailed color map which precisely identifies position and depth of the various modifications desired. This prescription is for the premolar restoration just illustrated and is a good example of effective color information transfer. Accurate color identification in concert with effective dentist-technician communication can yield naturally appearing, aesthetically pleasing ceramic restorations as illustrated here. This program has demonstrated the use of a custom shade guide system for color identification and information transfer in the fabrication of ceramic restorations. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.